and so I, I spilled some ice, and I was trying to clean it up. No, no, no. Get, give me no, 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 no. Give me the whole vibe. Like, t- t- tell me where you're okay. at. Tell me what you're doing. Okay. Yeah, right, gotta, right, let, right. let me let me feel it. Okay, okay. The whole vibe. Yeah. So we we went to this place called Publix. Uh, it's a supermarket. A grocery and, store. I've been there a hundred times. Got it. Yeah. And we got some beach stuff. Like we're gonna have like a, a picnic at the beach. So we got a, a cooler, some ice, some drinks, some food, and we got like everything that we needed. Mm-hmm. And then we checked out, and then we realized that we forgot uh, we forgot uh, sunscreen, some extra sunscreen that we needed. So we went back in, and I had the cooler in my hand. It has like this little like uh, plastic like handle that you hold it by. Okay. So I'm walking around, and we're trying to find the sunscreen. The handle uh, pops off. And the cooler falls and, and it spills open. So there's ice and there's like some clothes drinks and some food that kind of spills open. And, and I'm like, oh, God. So I get down real quickly and try to like contain the ice so it doesn't spread out because it's all like it's like spreading and everything. Damn. OK. So we, we, we put all like we start pushing all me and, me and the wifey got push all the ice together. And while we're doing this, there's this old man standing like three feet away just watching us. Right. And he's just standing there. He just like he froze up when we dropped it. And he's just standing there looking at us. And then uh, there's a worker standing like a few feet away from us, but this worker was lost, bro. He was like looking around. I said, "Oh, I'm sorry about the spill." Um, he doesn't respond to me. The worker is like, like he is, he is zoned out. He didn't Damn. say a single word. He didn't make eye contact with me. He just looked at the ice and he started looking around. And, and he, I guess, he was trying to find the lady who cleans the spills and whatnot. And uh, okay, so so he didn't even so, say anything to you. Yeah, so he walks away. And, and we weren't sure what he was going to do. We weren't sure if he was going to find, get somebody to help or not. Um, so Daniela starts walking away from the spill to try to find somebody. And I'm, and I'm standing over the spill. So as soon as Daniela starts walking away, this old man's like, where do you think you're going? And then she's like, uh, oh, I, I answered for her. I was like, oh, she's just trying to find somebody to help with the spill all right before you then, go any further tell me about the old man just tell me about him a little bit like give yeah, me so high weight wearing, so how old wearing, are we talking you think you know he's 72 but he's like super athletic well, how do you know that he told okay he told me he tells me later in the he's 72 he's 72 very athletic probably runs every single day yeah hey, florida uh, he's, yeah. About, he's about like 5 10 5 11 10 right. uh white dude gray hair uh, wearing shorts and like an Under Armour. What's his teeth look like? What's his teeth look like? Oh God! Oh, um, come, his come, teeth? Come. I didn't get a good look at his teeth. Nice. This guy got bodied. <laughs> yeah, he really did, actually. So I didn't get I didn't get a good look at his teeth. Um, yeah, I gotta know if he's a if he's a if you 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 know what or not. You know, I'm trying to see. Okay. <laughs> Um, so he, he says, where do you think you're going to Daniela? Right. You answer for her. I answer for her. I said, oh, she's trying to get, uh, before I could finish saying what I was going to say, he's like, oh, you guys were going to leave this spill unattended. And I was like, no, no, no. Uh, she's just trying to go find somebody. And, and then, and then Daniela was like, uh, sir, I'm trying to get somebody to help, but I don't appreciate the way you're talking to me. Oh, damn. See, see. Right, yeah. like, I think I think even so. I'm gonna let you know how I would have done this. So, so and, no, no, here's the thing. All right, I, I was gonna do it the same way that you're you're about to say, bro. I, I, I what, what am I saying? What am I saying? Uh, uh, yeah, I did. I did. I run your trap. Oh, look about it, look about it. oh no, he's thirsting. Oh, he doesn't care. Oh, what the hell? Nice, nice. I'm bleeding out, so you might want to be a little quick. So, I was gonna, I was just gonna be polite the entire way until he really said some dumb thing, and then I would have told him off. We're just like, right, told him to, to catch a hike. I, I, I don't think that you wouldn't like. I, just for the record, I make a lot of jokes and stream shit, yeah. but I, I to, to be real, I, I don't think you would ever just take some shit. I think, I think if yeah. push came to shove, at the end of the day, you, I think you're gonna do what you gotta do. But, but I, if he would have fucking even started. What the hell? Did I miss something? <laughs> I don't, I don't Fuck out of the box. Oh. oh, man.
Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what is happening? I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to pick you up. <laughs> okay. I, Bro, when if he would have said, like, if he would have cut me off and said, you're going to leave the spill, I think I would have looked at him. And I, w- I think right then I'm going to start trying to look around to see who's, who's going to see this. Because I, uh, I can tell at that point he, he's, he, he doesn't fuck with me, you know? He's, gonna, he's probably yeah, going to yeah. try to do some shit. Okay, keep, keep, yeah. keep on going. Tell me, tell me what he said. So I'm trying to respond to him to, like, just, like, get this guy off of us. Like, he's being annoying. Like, I'm, I'm already, like, uh, trying to deal with this spill. So I'm just I'm, I'm trying to de-escalate. And just trying to get him away. I was, trying to, like, okay, I was trying to explain to him, listen, we're not leaving no spill. We're trying to get somebody to help. Thank you for your concern. You know, bye-bye. Okay, right. Daniela immediately is like, um, I don't like your attitude. I don't like the way you're talking to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, she's like, not, that. like You have nothing to do with this. Uh, we're trying to sort this out. So then when she says that, he responds and he says, he oh, says, shit. I'm not concerned with your kind. Ooh, okay, okay. And then, so we and got then old, he starts walking. Old racist, angry guy or some shit, right? Yeah, yeah. And then he's walking backwards and looking. Danielle's already walked away at this point. As as she's walking away, she tells him off and then walks away. And then as he's walking away, she's like, I'm not concerned with your kind. And then he looks at me. And at this point, I have not said anything insulting to this guy. I'm just looking at him in confusion. And I'm like, what is going on? And then he looks at me and he starts walking backwards and he puts both his hands. He starts walking backwards. Arms. Yeah, he starts walking backwards, puts both his arms up like side by side. And what? he's like, he's like, I'll meet you outside if you want to deal with this. And then I'm just I just said, no one wants to fight you, old man. Like, like, get the hell out of here. So we he walks away. So the lady comes to, to clean the spill. And then we're waiting outside for the Uber. And uh, Daniela was telling me, like, we should walk away from the place and go to, like, go to the Starbucks across the street to get our Uber. I'm about, I'm about to shoot this guy after me. Okay. He's a good trap. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. What are all these people doing here? Damn. Hey, okay. So he actually wanted to, you know, he actually did that. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. So I don't know, so, man. So. So then I'm, I'm like, I'm looking, uh, I was confused. I said, I, I, t- I told him like, you know, I said, get the hell out of here. Like no one wants to fight you. And then, and then we're, I'm, we're waiting outside the restaurant or not the restaurant, the, the store. After yeah. we, uh, we, we, gra- we grab, we grab the sunscreen. Oh, or whatever. This, this, this dude didn't do this. Did he? He, he didn't press you more. He pressed you more. He, he, yeah, yeah, he did. He did. So we're waiting outside and I'm like excited. I was excited. Like I wanted to. I yeah. wanted this guy to come outside because at the end of the day, like, you know, old or not, like if he started fighting or like, like, like actually like swinging, you know, that like something would have had to have happened, you know? And, and I was 100% confident that this guy was going to get like, like sure, I, I was going to handle him. Yeah. And at the end of the day, he's a, he's an old guy. It doesn't, doesn't matter how fit you are. He's, he was an older guy, but like if he started like physically attacking me or, or Daniela, that's it. It was a wrap. But, um, uh, he, we were waiting outside, and Danielle says, "You know, like this guy might be crazy. Like, let's just let's just go across the street, and and just I don't want to see him." And I said, "Come on, Danielle, I just want to see what he does." Fuck, you're an idiot. I know. I was like, "Come on, I just want to see what he does." And and we're waiting for a few minutes for for Uber to get there. Uh, we just ordered an Uber, and, and then Danielle's like, "Come on, let's just, let, please." She, she says, "She said I'm not comfortable." Um. Please, I, I just want to. I just want to leave this guy alone. So I said, okay. So then I started walking with her towards the Starbucks, and that's when he comes out. What oh. the fuck, bro? They're spelling M family snipe me. It's me. <laughs> spelling M fam? Yeah, they're spelling M fam. They snipe me. Really, M fam? No, they're gonna hit you like that. Like, I don't know, bro. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so what? Uh, okay, so. You so you go it. across to investigate. Did I miss something? No. I'll take that. Jesus, bro. No, you haven't missed anything. Uh, I just feel like 
some people are crazy, man, and you, you don't know what they're capable of. So it's always – I think I always try to play it on the safe side. Like, if he if he walks away, lit, but I can tell you confidently, it, I, I don't always make the smartest decisions when it comes to that yeah. shit. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm saying this, but then when I'm there and I'm in it, I got my girl with me and he, he's being fucking stupid. I'm like, bro, right when he said – what did he say to you again? Where he was like, "He said I'm not gonna stay with your kind." Or oh, uh, he said, I'll, "I'll I'll meet you outside if you want to." No, before that, this. but before the kind thing, uh, before I'm not concerned with your kind. Oh, he said, "Oh, you were, you're gonna leave the spill here." Yeah, right. I think right when he said that, I would have looked at his face, and if there was any, if there's any smug ass fucking thing going on, I think I. I Hey, you know what, Brownie and Liver? Thank you guys, man. That's <laughs> legendary. But I think right, if if I would have seen some smug face. shit, I think I think I would have done it. I don't care if he's old. Now, if yeah. he's like old, he's hunched over shit. But you said he was athletic, right? No, he was athletic. He was a def definitely. All right. Well, if he's athletic like he and he's athletic. talking like that, then then all right, you know. That, well, that's the thing. He was he was looking for. I feel like he's the type of guy who was like looking for a fight or something because he spends a lot of time at the gym and he wants to like prove himself or something i don't know it's, but yeah but i mean no, no. But by, by by no means would i want to fight this guy but i think i i just know myself i, I think i would have gotten mad i think yeah. I, I think i would have gotten angry and told him told him to fuck off or some some crazy shit and then who knows because i remember like yeah i don't know bro because if this dude pulls out a gun and just rocks your shit in a, in a public's like what's the yeah, point or some spilled ice you know yeah i'm with you I, i'm starting to think that way too but i just know i got a fucking anger problem i i I wanted to tell him off, which, which I did. I, I I called him old, miserable, whatever. When he came outside, he, he he walked up to me and is like, he said, "You'll never look as good as me when you're 70." And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. At least what? I won't be as angry. And what is wrong with this guy? Yeah. What the fuck? So he 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 definitely had a lot of insecurities going on, and he was like, yeah, no, lot, he, like no, he probably had some life. head problems, man. Yeah. You're going, you know. Um, crazy. And then, man. and then. Uh, Danielle's trying to pull me away. I'm like, uh, I called him a boomer just for, just for the joke. <laughs> I don't even think he really understood it. He did. Get, he started yelling louder and whatever. Like, like he basically was flexing on me. That's what he was doing. He was flexing. Like he, all his insults were like, I'm, I'm, like my life is amazing. I'm put together. You're like, you're you're a loser. Your uh, your wife's a loser. Oh, I'm dead, bro. I messed up. Fuck. Oh no. I, I can't. I don't have, have any healing. I have two. Oh. I forgot it hits for two. I'm so stupid. I'm crawling. I don't know though. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know either, bro. If I, I was too into the story, bro. I wasn't thinking about it, man. It's all good. It's all good. I don't know. I, you. You got to be careful, but. Emu and I, Emu and I have been, we've never, I don't know, we haven't been in too many of those situations. Usually that when we are. That's the first time I've ever had, like, some just random dude, like. Yeah. It like, happens, man. People people get testy, and they, and they just want to, they just want to try you. Yeah. Um, the thing is, I know that if it was just me there, and Danielle wasn't there, like, like, and I'm not saying this is Danielle's fault, but the situation, that situation would have never escalated unless unless he was really like he 100 like had like some super super like hate problem towards me because like maybe he's racist or something or maybe he maybe he just saw me and he's like this guy looks like the dude who effed my wife or something and right, I right, right, right. that's what it is but, but i 100 people assign hate with so you look or sound yeah i 100 would have de-escalated like there wasn't going to be like I, I was literally just gonna like just for the sake of not like dealing with crazy people, I just be like, yeah, sir, thank you for your concern. Like, I'll make sure that right. no one walks over the spill. Bye bye. Like, right, and you and you should always you should always play it that way. I try to play it that way too. I just think that <clears throat> there sometimes there comes a that. point. There comes a point. You know, I, I don't know where that point is or that line, but after you cross a certain line, and I mean, everybody can agree to this. You know, it's like after you cross a certain line, and but we all have different lines. Yeah. yeah. But after you cross that line in your mind, it's it's just is what it is. My line is usually when someone, you know, when they when, when they take it to that vibe, where they really, I don't know, like where they're really about it or whatever. I I'm usually, 
I'm usually, well, I'm, I'm usually well, all right then, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it's happened a few times with, with, with Emo and I, but but it never usually gets handled pretty quickly. Yeah. To be honest. See, it's tough. On the one hand, a quick slap in the fucking head will straighten him up. But on, on the other hand, if he pulls out a gun, you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, what are we really doing here, you know? It's Florida, too. It's not like a, a chill part of the world, you know? It's really not. Florida's got some people in there, man. Got bigs. Some of my chat said he was trying to shoot you. He was trying to bait you in so he could shoot you. That what might that? have been it, bro. Like, really? That's the thing. That he 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 was bait. I, I told chat, I felt like this guy was baiting really hard. Like he was he was doing everything he could to try to. Get me upset, but he wasn't trying to take the first swing. 100%, he was not trying to do anything. He's like, I'll meet you outside. He gets close to me, but doesn't put a finger on me. I keep saying, you're not going to do anything. You're not going to do anything. And he's just like, like he's he was 100% trying to get me to swing at him. And I don't think it was it was because he he could he knew that he could handle me. He, I don't think he, that was the case. I think he either wanted to call the police. Or you wanted to have a reason to maybe use a gun. Well, I, don't know. I remember, uh, this is where I learned this. Cause there, there, there's a lot of people that act like they're about it. But when it's time to be about it, man, it, it just doesn't happen. All right? I know yeah. that for a fact. And you know where I learned this from? I had a friend in high school named Jeff. And, uh, <laughs> dude, Je Jeff, Jeff was notorious for trying to start a fight. And he just couldn't fight. I mean, he's not a fighter. I mean, I remember one time I was at a party with this guy, Jeff. And uh, I'm, I'm holding him up against a fence. And I'm, and I'm begging him to stop trying to fight these guys because there's like there's like a whole group of them. And I'm begging him. I'm, I'm like, listen, please stop. Please stop, man. You're going to get everybody fucking rocked. Stop doing this shit. And, he, and he's, fuck you. Fuck you. Ah! He's going nuts, yelling and screaming. And as soon and he does this a lot, and as soon as it's actually time to fight, he, he he's nowhere to be found. He, he he doesn't he's not like that. Yada yada, right? Yeah. There's a lot of people that are like that, and that might have been what he was trying. Like, he might have just been trying to like, you know? Yeah. Oh, macho man, and just hope that you don't hit him. Might that might be it. I've seen a lot of guys do that kind of shit, and then they just get punched in the fucking mouth. That's it. He's sorry, he's sorry, he's sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Jeff is HD. No, no, HD can fight. A A HD fighter. I can testify to that. Believe me. Hey, Miss Do a Big, you don't know the half of it. Let me tell you. Fucking guy, Jimmy, almost got my ass beat ten times. Not by him either. Listen, Jimmy's got a temper problem. You all know this. But if you're friends with Jimmy and you're going to bars with Jimmy, his temper problem becomes your temper problem. <laughs> now the whole fucking clique has a temper problem. That's all I'm going to say. Well, when you're when you're with somebody like like when you're rolling with somebody, you can't be on a different wavelength than them. Right, right. like no matter what you. Wow, that. You, <laughs> oh, damn! I wanted to fall all the way.
Oh, good job. This would be a good job. Gotta shoot the other part. Already, done, already on it. Man, this guy really wants to waste all my mats. Got him. Oh. No, no, he was above. Nice. Oh my god. You still you got more, you good, Sean. 1v1. Oh! Give me that feet! Give me that feet, boy! But that was just the beginning of the trip. The rest of it was amazing. Went to the beach, had amazing food, parasailing, all that good stuff. <clears throat> yeah, Miami dude, there's never, there's never going to be, there's, it's totally exhausting, but it's a great place. Yeah. But you didn't even do it right. Like, if we, if you go with us, we can find ways to make it hella yeah. relaxing, bro. It's so awesome. Yeah, we'll take you to this one spot we always go to. It's so beautiful. It's right on the water. Have a great time out there. Um, But uh, what was I going to say, man? I was going to say, like, you never know if, if uh, the, you know, the dude is, is, is crazy, right? You, you never know if he's gonna pull a gun. You, yeah. you, you never know. You never know what the story is. He could just be having a really bad day. Mm -hmm. You know.